Hi, I'm Toby from AWS and welcome to This Is My Architecture from reInvent. I'm joined today by Jason from Six Nines. Hi Jason. Hi Toby, how are you? Yeah, welcome to reInvent. Thank you. Good. Um, so tell me a bit about Six Nines, what do you do? So at Six Nines we help our customers move to the AWS cloud responsibly. Okay, responsibly, I like that. That's the best part, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and what's the solution here we've got on the board? So the solution we're going to walk through today is a MyHVC solution running on AWS to help our customers run simulations, do research, go to manufacture faster, um, essentially through the power of AWS. Okay, so maybe you've got a customer that wants to uh, test or validate a product and they need an HPC cluster, you're going to make that easier for them. Absolutely. Great, okay. So um, why don't we step through the solution? Do you want to show me how a, a user interacts with it? Absolutely. So this solution is completely ephemeral. Uh, so an engineer who's sitting in their company office, who's in the R&D department, would essentially launch a script. That script would kick off CloudFormation template. The mm -hmm. CloudFormation template then spins up the entire environment. So the environment consists of a Bastion server so you can securely access your resources. So that's that's an EC2 instance? This is an EC2 yeah, instance. Sure. Yep. Um, I see you've got a public subnet as well. Yep, this is the public subnet, so mm -hmm. they can access this via the internet. Um, you could also put a VP in in here if you wanted to, to be a little bit more secure. Okay. Um, but then it, it launches an EC2 node. This is actually running a product called Slurm. Slurm? Slurm. I don't know that one. What does Slurm do? So Slurm is a job dispatch engine that interfaces nicely with NVIDIA's uh, GPUs. Okay. Uh, okay. So in addition to launching this, this is the control node, it's EC2 using Slurm. We also launch about 60 P3s that are responsible for crunching the data that the engineers are loading. 60 P3 instances? 60 P3 instances, yeah. Wow. So quite a bit of uh, power Computer in this power. solution, yeah. absolutely. And so Slurm's coordinating those resources, doing the job management, Correct. chunking up the job and, and giving it out to those workers. And dispatching nodes. it out, yes. Yeah. Yep. And how, how long does the typical job run on, on your cluster? So this is the best part. Um, the job previously would take 12, 14 hours to run for these engineers. And they had a, a, basically a finite amount of resources in their existing data center. With this solution, we've reduced the turnaround time to about two hours, a little bit under two hours. So a significant return um, and, and performance improvement based wow. on on-premise. Yeah, and I guess the other advantage is, you know, if a customer's got a need to test something, they don't have to wait for their, you know, their on-premise HPC environment with a, a, you know, a whole queue of jobs backing up. They Absolutely. can spin this up, run the test, and then shut it down. Absolutely. So in HPC, and, and people familiar with this know that resource contention is a, is a big deal. Mm. And as these simulations get more complex, as chip designs get smaller, there's more resources needed. So this is a fantastic way to flex out and, and use the power of the cloud and the elasticity. Great. So what sort of challenges did you face when you, were, when you were designing and building this? So a lot of challenges were actually between these two nodes. Um, so the way this works is Slurm actually interfaces with NVIDIA drivers. Mm. Um, those NVIDIA drivers were um, not problematic, but we had to spend significant um, R&D and engineering time getting that to work properly and use the full power of all the GPUs on the instances. And there's a lot of specifics about the memory ratio to the GPUs that, that we really like the P3 instances for. But this is where most of the um, engineering time was spent, is right in here. Mm. And, and what's this node doing over here? I can see it's EC2, but what function is that fulfilling? Uh, so this node is actually uh, an NFS node. Okay. So everybody familiar um, with simulations uses NFS, and NFS is just a central storage. So really these, the control node for Slurm and the P3 um, compute nodes are using this via an, an amount. Right, so it's like a, a, sh a shared data source for the cluster. Correct. To coordinate yep. and share data. Absolutely. Okay. And so where does the output go when the, the job's finished? So what happens is there's lots of data crunching going on here. Uh, so this is where all the, um, all the compute is happening. Mm. And then when this is done, it actually outputs a file back up to S3. Okay. And so when the job is done running, the engineer can log into the S3 bucket, get their results, determine if the run was successful, determine if they need to make tweaks, anything like that, and then they can go back here and resubmit the job. Again, that goes into the S3 bucket and, and uh, does the simulations on the HPC cluster. Cool, okay, great. Um, well, thanks Jason for sharing today. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. This is my architecture. Thank you.